Hey everybody, welcome to another Five Minutes with Ben. I'm Ben, and <clears throat> we're gonna look at a game that I'd never seen before today. White is uh, Budzinski, and black is Paul Morphy. Typically, when Morphy wins very quickly, which he does a lot, um, he's white, and he plays some gambit, and his opponent fails miserably. But in this game, <clears throat> Morphy faced a gambit, and uh, still got a big attack against his opponent, even though his opponent's supposed to be the one attacking. Okay, Budzinski is white. I've never heard of him. This was played in Paris in 1859, uh, a casual game. Okay, so it was a king's gambit, which was the style at the time. Morphy takes, bishop c4. That's occasionally played today. It's not as popular as knight f3. Morphy played d5. That's a good move. Bishop takes d5, knight f6, knight c3. These moves are all very reasonable. Bishop b4. And in this position, white played a very passive move. White should just play knight f3, develop his knight. But he played d3. That's his first mistake. Morphy took the bishop. And then white would like to take with the knight, but that's pinned. So he had to take with the pawn. Okay, and then Morphy castled. So Morphy's king is safer, uh, materials equal, and if it was black's turn to move, probably queen h4 check is a good move. So white played queen f3. That's actually the best move. Black played rook e8 check. Knight g e2. Bishop takes c3 check. White can't recapture with the knight because the knight is pinned. So that's illegal. So he took with the pawn. And Morphy played queen h4 check. And now white made the losing move. White has one, two, three, four, five, six legal moves. Yes. White has six legal moves. Queen g3 is probably not the best one. And then you can move your king. You could play g3 or you could play queen f2. And one of those moves is okay, and white's okay. And the other moves all lose immediately. Okay, so five out of six chance, well, probably his opponent's not going to go there. But the good chances his opponent will blunder here since only one move is good. And since black has pressure and black is threatening, white should play the move queen f2. That's a good defense. And then I probably wouldn't show you this game because it wouldn't be so interesting. But his opponent played g3, double question mark. And now Morphy's winning immediately. There's actually more than one way to win, but shockingly, Morphy played the best move. Amazing. And typically, when your queen is attacked, you move your queen. And probably, Bozinski thought the queen is going to move. Okay, then he'll figure out what to do. Or we'll take, and we'll take back on g3. The queen defends the rook. The rook attacks the queen. The pawn attacks the queen. And, you know, white can still play. Okay. But in fact, it's black to move and win here after g3. Can you find the winning move that Morphe played? Pause your video, try to figure it out, and then come back. And we're back. Morphe played bishop g4. And that was all that white had to see. And the engine says black is about plus five now. So white resigned. Um... Basically, he's losing a piece, and I can show you all the variations. If he takes the queen, and I take the queen, your knight's hanging, and your rook's hanging. So you're going to lose one of them, so that's, that's not good. If you play queen f2, because your queen's attacked, and you're attacking my queen, I just take on g3. And if you take back, your rook is hanging with check. The engine says white could castle, <laughs> Then I take the queen, you take the queen, I take the knight, and I'm up a knight. Okay, so the most interesting move for me is the move queen g2, because that keeps the rook protected. And unfortunately, I take on g3. If you take with the queen, I play rook takes knight check. So you take with the pawn, and then I play rook takes e2 check, and your queen is overworked. It's defending this and this. So if you take my rook, I take your rook with check, and black is up a piece and winning and, and has a good attack against the white king. 
So after bishop g4, any move white makes is going to lose at least a piece. So white resigned. Another miniature from Morphy, only 11 moves. He showed that guy. I'm Grandmaster Ben Feingold. Thanks for watching 5 Minutes with Ben. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment. And I'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.